Recently, I've been getting a lot of questions about my opinions on this firm or that firm, so I figured I'd just make a tier list video to give you guys my take on where I think these firms stand. So without further ado, here's my 2022 consulting firm tier list. All right, let's start off with an easy one. Uh, easily the most prestigious firm on this list, the elder god of consulting, McKinsey, S tier. Next in the same cohort as McKinsey, we have Bain and BCG. Bain, obviously a uh, top-notch firm, S tier. Now, I feel like these days BCG is more of a S minus, uh, what with Sue and GameStop and all, which is pretty much a losing PR battle. But some of you might say, well, wait a minute, what about McKinsey and all the shady stuff they do? Well, I'd say it's pretty much on brand for McKinsey, so I'll allow it. I mean, say what you will about McKinsey, but they're the kind of firm that would rather pay over half a billion dollars in settlements than have to disclose the details of their dealings with clients, and I don't know, I guess I can respect that. Okay, now moving on to a much more controversial category, the big four, which are in no particular order, Deloitte, PwC, EY, and KPMG. Now, people seem to have a lot of opinions on where each of these firms stand, but it kind of feels like a bunch of people fighting over the fourth place spot in a beauty pageant. Even so, I'm gonna try my best to break this down, starting with Deloitte. So, what can I say about Deloitte? Well, let's see. Uh, first, it's a world-class firm, that's for sure, uh, but what I think sets Deloitte apart from its other big four counterparts is its cult-like dedication to branding and its rabid fan base of overzealous employees. Just as an example, I can sit here and joke about McKinsey killing children and no one bats an eye, but as soon as I say anything negative about Deloitte, every Tom, Dick, and Harry hits up my DMs and tells me to take my post down because of slander or something. Wait, that's slander. It is not. I resent that. Slander is spoken. In print, it's libel. Setting that aside, Deloitte also tends to believe that their firm is head and shoulders above its big four peers, and so I figured it'd only be fitting that Deloitte have an entire tier dedicated to themselves. D tier. So next we have PwC and EY, and here I'll refrain from talking about strategy and or EY Parthenon, just the parent firms PwC and EY. Again, two great firms each in their own right, but at the same time, neither firm has any unique or distinguishing qualities. I mean, for better or worse, there are plenty of ways to easily describe a Deloitte consultant, but I challenge you to describe to me someone who works at PwC or EY without using the company names or big four. It's impossible. Uh, so that's why I'm putting EY in C tier. Now, you'd think after everything I said about EY and PwC being practically identical that PwC would go in C tier as well. But since PwC sold off their federal practice years ago, I'm gonna put them slightly higher. C plus, B minus, whatever. Federal consulting fucking sucks. Finally, we get to KPMG, and I know a lot of people like to shit on KPMG, and I don't really think that's fair. I mean, to be completely honest, I think each big four is virtually indistinguishable from any of the other ones. Anyone who tells you any different probably works at Deloitte. Uh, that being said, I'm making a special tier just for KPMG. There you go, little buddy. All right, moving on. Next, we have Accenture. Not quite big four, but still totally solid firm. Their base compensation has historically been able to outcompete Big Four, especially at the junior levels, but that might have changed since most firms made a market adjustment after the Great Resignation. And since they don't have an audit arm anymore, they're generally not subject to the same types of strict independence rule sets that the other big audit firm's employees have to deal with. For that reason, I'm putting Accenture in A tier. So after Accenture, pff, there's pretty much everyone else. And frankly, I don't have time to go into every single one of these, so I'm just going to put them in this general area. And there you have it, the definitive 2022 consulting firm tier list. Hey everyone, Mo from Consulting Humor here. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to take a moment to say that all the firms I mentioned here in this video are absolutely world-class firms. Each one of them has significant global presence and impact. That being said, I do think there's always an opportunity for us to lighten up a little bit and even take a chance to poke fun at ourselves every once in a while. As always, thanks for watching and I'd like to do more of these videos in the future, so please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.